In this video, we're going to learn how to make bar plots in R using both base R and ggplot2. We're going to start by loading in the tidyverse, which includes ggplot, and the MT cars dataset we'll be using for this one. We're going to convert cylinder to a factor since that's the variable we're going to be plotting. Now in base R, all you have to do is use the bar plot function and then pass in a table of the categorical variable you're making the bar plot for. So we're gonna make a table of that cylinder column. And when we run this, it will create a bar plot showing the cars with different cylinders and how many exist for each one in the data set. So for instance, there are 11 four cylinder cars in the data set. Now we can make the exact same plot using ggplot2. To do that, we just take the data, pipe it to ggplot, we want to set the X aesthetic to the cylinder column. Then we just need to add our geometry for bar plots in ggplot2. You use geom bar. So we're adding geom bar, and this will create a bar plot that looks very similar to the one above. Now you can do some other things with bar plot. For instance, you can flip the axes so that the bars are running from left to right instead of up and down. So I'll just show how to do that. We're just going to add some color by using AES fill equals cylinder. We're also going to add plus chord flip. Chord flip is what will cause the bars to go left to right instead of up and down. So it's essentially the same plot, but just formatted a little bit differently. Now these couple bar plots we just made, we're showing counts by a category. If you actually have something more like this, we'll create a new table that's a summary. So this is actually showing not counts by category, but it's showing the different cylinders and a summary value for each category. If we wanted to make a bar plot of this, we wouldn't want the bar plot that's making a plot of counts. We want to use these values as the height of the bars instead of the counts. So if we wanted to do that in ggplot2, instead of using geom bar, we can use geom call. We're going to use the cylinder column again for X, but for Y, instead of using the counts, which is what geom bar did, we're going to pass in this average MPG column, summary column that we made. And then for the aesthetic, we're adding geom call. And we can see we did create this final bar plot where the height of the bars is based on a summary value. Now you can actually make this plot using geom bar instead of geom call. Geom bar uses the counts as the y value by default. But if we're doing this, we could use geom bar and then we'd have to specify stat equals identity. So if we were to run that, it would do the exact same thing pretty much as geom call. So that is how to make bar plots in R. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.